Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are brand new. My name is Olivia, so thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I post all things curvy fashion content, as well as Weight Watchers content, lifestyle things, all over on my channel. So I would love it if you wanted to hit the red subscribe button down below and join my little YouTube community. I'm also over on Instagram at Olivia Frida Curves, and that's linked in the description box down below. So thank you for joining me on today's video. I am so excited we have an Old Navy haul to share with you. I have some really great pieces for fall, wintry fashion. Things are going to keep you super cozy and warm, but also going to make sure you are super cute and styled for the upcoming months. So if any of that interests you, definitely stay tuned for this video. By the way, all my measurements are listed down below. We're going to talk some fun fall fashion today, but before I get into that, I do want to share with you this really super cute piece of home decor that I have, which I am so grateful to Rose Forever New York for sending me. Um, this is not sponsored or anything. They did send me this bouquet to share with you, but I do also have a discount code for you. I'm going to give you a little bit closer of a look, but they are a gorgeous. Um, they're the roses that last for a year, and I am so happy with them. They really kind of make the room a little bit more luxurious and I love them for decor, but also perfect because it's, you know, holidays and things like that. So it could come in handy if you are shopping for someone that this would really, you know, make their holiday super special. Um, my code is Olivia Curves 15. That's going to get you $15 off if you are interested. It's not an affiliate code. It is just a code for you guys. And I just thought I would share them with you because I love luxurious pieces, especially home decor. So I thought these would be super fun to share. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a closer view. Okay, so here are the roses, just a little bit more up close because I wanted to show you how beautiful they are. I'm using mine as decor and they are just stunning. So the rose, um, the roses themselves are from the brand Rose Forever New York and they are a New York based company. They launched in 2019 and I have seen a lot of people with these roses. I just absolutely adore them. So mine are the 16 batch, um, so I have 16 roses in this box and they come in at 9, 16, or 36 and they are hand-picked roses and they'll last you a year. They are um, infused with these natural oils which help preserve the life and I just think that they're stunning. So yeah, definitely check these out. I will link the website below as well as leave you my discount code if you are interested in shopping. And yeah, just look how pretty. Look, the box itself is actually velvet so it's just so beautiful. So just want to give you guys a little bit closer of a look. So pretty. They just kind of make this table look so luxurious and elevated. So, so excited. So without further delay, we are going to jump into the video. So stay tuned, grab a snack, grab a hot chocolate, coffee, wine, whatever you're feeling, and let's jump into this Old Navy fall haul. Okay, so we are going to start out with the first outfit that I'm wearing currently. And I'm wearing this really fun animal print sweater in this brown and kind of black color scheme and I really like it. I think that it fits really nicely. It's a little bit oversized, but it's funny, this one is actually in a size extra large. And usually in Old Navy, I'm a size large. And I thought with this sweater that it would be that, you know, a little bit more oversized and it's not. It still fits really nice. It's very soft as well. It's not scratchy in any way. And I feel like that's really important. Sometimes you can get those sweaters that are really scratchy and itchy and nobody wants that. So moving on to the jeans. These are the Rockstar Mid-Rise Skinny Jeans and these are in a size 12. So I kind of fluctuate between a size 10 and a size 12 at Old Navy and it depends on the style, it depends on the fit, it depends on the wash even because they all have different levels of stretch. And I knew with these being a mid-rise, the 12 was gonna be the more comfortable fit and I was 100% right. I see my underwear just because it shows you kind of the true area of where these jeans land. So I have on, I actually have on the really nice Spanx um, underwear that's the cheeky, lacy style of Spanx. I'll try and link them down below. They are incredible. Go down a size, I'm wearing them in a size medium and they really, they kind of give you a nice shape. They really kind of suck you in a little bit. Love them. But if you can tell, 
my underwear actually comes up a little bit higher than the jeans. And for me, that's just kind of a no-go. Like I actually prefer for my jeans to land above my belly button, cinch me in at the waist. And these ones just don't come high enough in my opinion. They're landing below my belly button a pretty good amount. And I just wouldn't feel as comfortable if that makes sense. Um, but they are still a good jean and I still wanted to share them because there are a lot of you that really do prefer a mid-rise. You might not be as tall as me. I'm five nine and a half, and sometimes that really makes the difference when it comes to the rise of the jean and why I prefer a higher rise. Um, the back of them I think is nice. They do the booty justice. They are a nice wash. They're a really darker wash with a little bit of spotlight um, around the thigh area, but I actually think it's really soft and subtle and adds a really beautiful touch to this wash of jean. I do like this overall, but let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, so moving on to the next outfit. This is such a cute fall, definitely fall outfit. I love this. I think this would be a great option for like fall wintry photos, for family photos or anything like that. This is just adorable. This is the Buffalo plaid top. These were on sale this weekend and they are the long sleeve kind of old navy shirt. And I got mine in a size large and I also picked up this vest to go over top in black. And it's just one of their kind of like bubble vests and it's really cozy and comfortable. I got mine in a size medium and it actually fits perfectly. So I could get like um, an even thicker sweater on underneath this and feel completely, you know, cozy and and fine. They also have fleece lining in the pockets. We love that. So I just took off the vest so you guys can get a better look at the jeans. These are the Rockstar Super Skinny Mid-Rise. And I feel like last time I got a lot of the high-rise options. And now I feel like I have a little bit too much on the mid-rise side of things. So that's okay. It just gives more option for those of you who prefer the mid-rise. Um, these are again in a size 12. There is not much stretch to these jeans at all. So I knew that a 12 was going to be the best fit for me. And I was definitely right. The only other thing, of course, is with the mid-rise, it's just coming too low for me. So I think you can see, like, again, my underwear is higher than the jean. And I just want them to be that little bit higher. They do... However, they do feel like a little bit of a, a lower quality jean. They feel a little bit cheaper compared to some of the old navy jeans that I really like. Um, so that would be my kind of only thing with these is not only the, the rise of them, but also the quality. It doesn't feel as comparative to the others. So this is cute. It's definitely like an on-trend type of outfit with this buffalo plaid. Again, really, really fun to wear for different like little fall activities or things like that that you're doing with family um so this is just a really nice outfit but still warm cozy appropriate for the weather but uh you're looking cute while you're doing whatever you're doing so let's move on to the next outfit okay so next up we have the same jeans on i just kept them on for this outfit i wanted to show you this really gorgeous little like leopard or cheetah print one of the two sweater it's really I just thought this was gorgeous when I saw it. I'm really partial to a crop sweater. If you watch my videos, you might know that. And I was drawn to this one just because of the uh, waist detailing. Now I picked it up in a size large petite just because I thought that it would have been a little bit shorter and also a little bit more snug in the waist. I would, however, want this in a medium just because when I get a crop sweater, the whole point of it for me is it, you know, for it to kind of like snatch my waist. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I want it to really emphasize my waist and this one I feel like it's just kind of like a regular sweater just a little bit shorter than others and um, other than that I love it I think the print is gorgeous it comes with this I don't know if it's a mock neck or if we're working with like a full turtleneck like it comes up pretty high it is a ribbing um, neckline so hopefully you guys can see that and I love the print so it is this muted animal print so it's animal print but in a little bit more of a low key way. So if you are someone that wants to try it, has wanted to jump on the animal print trend, but not super comfortable in like an out there loud print, this would be a great option for you. My favorite little touch to the sweater is the gold zipper on the side. How fun is that? It's just something like a little bit different. It is functioning, so you can unzip it if you wanted. Um, but again, I think I would prefer this in something where it just, you know, like it highlights my waist a little bit more just because I have 
a lot of excess um, and in a crop sweater the whole point of it for me is it to be snug and conforming so I just think this is a really fun sweater overall though gorgeous all right let's move on to the next outfit okay so moving on to this outfit I have on something that's very different for me and not I guess like I don't think I would look at this outfit and think it's old navy so I was intrigued by the jeans because they're the extra wide leg high rise or no, extra high rise wide leg jeans. And these ones are in a size 10 and the fit is great. The style is just very different. So the, the, the thing that makes these so unique, obviously the cut of them. So they're super wide and I don't have any jeans like this. So I was really you know curious to try it and see what it would look like. I'm not totally sold. I don't know that I would necessarily be into these. Um, but I just paired them with, actually wasn't sure, I was looking for more of like a graphic tee to pair with these, but I just couldn't find the right kind of vibe. So I just went with something neutral with this little um, button up cardigan, but I think a graphic tee would be the way to go, or even actually a bodysuit. Like a bodysuit would be pretty nice with this. Like I mentioned, these are in size 10. They do have a good amount of stretch in them, so I find that the, the stretch is good. I love the color. I think that it's a nice... Um, medium blue wash jean and they have some distressing so down here in the thigh area and then the length the length is good actually for it to be a wide leg and for where it hits on me I think it works really well um, and then in the back I do think that it looks really nice and the booty looks good I always find that with like a wide leg jean actually that the bum area looks always quite nice but I thought that they'd be fun just to include something totally different so this is a fun outfit but not what I'm sold on. Okay, so moving on to the next outfit, it is something a little bit more dressy. I wanted to make sure that I included some dresses in this haul just because I feel like I have it in a little bit whenever I've um, done a haul with Old Navy. I wanted to see what you could wear either for work or just for dressing up a little bit more for if you have any functions or anything like that that you might be attending. So I absolutely love this coat. First of all, this coat is so beautiful. I actually had a very similar one last fall in a much more of a camel color and this one obviously is in this beautiful um, beige color and it's stunning. It's a gorgeous like funnel neck coat that has a zipper here and I find that they look very chic like they don't necessarily look um, like a more inexpensive style of coat and this one is on sale and I do think that it just adds that little bit of extra luxurious kind of a touch you know what I'm saying like to this type of coat it's just really flattering and the cut of it is just very modern and chic I think it's beautiful I'm wearing it in a size large and it fits really nice it is a boxy fit so you are not going to get something that is kind of curve hugging um, and that that sort of look you're gonna get a little bit more of an oversized look the length of it is pretty long and I do have some pockets here in the front which is nice the only thing I will say is my coat from last year really pilled um, and got those like fuzzies all over it especially in this area like the more kind of friction it gets the more those little um, know the pills that they start to appear so the coat is just part one because then I have this beautiful like figure hugging ribbed dress underneath so let me take off the coat and show you okay so with that outfit I have on this like ribbed sweater dress underneath and I'm, I think this one is okay I'm not super sold on it I accidentally picked this up in a size small I meant to grab it in a size medium because I picked it up in a large I did just feel like it was really big in the midsection and I think I was right because even in the small like I still feel like it's ill fitting on me I just don't think it kind of flatters me in the right way like my hope was with the medium was gonna be that it kind of like hugged a little bit more in the midsection I don't know but this for me this is just definitely a miss that's okay we, they can't all be winners but I do have another dress that I think is really beautiful. So I'm gonna throw that one on next. Okay, so this actually might be my favorite of the whole haul, this animal print dress. And I wanted to definitely try stuff that was a little bit more appropriate for, again, for the office or for things that you wanna be a little bit more dressed up for. And this actually might be my favorite. I just love the fit of this. I think it's very classy. Yeah pretty sexy. I think the way that this fits almost gives me like 
a Joan from Mad Men type of vibe, like a Christina Hendricks kind of feel, and I really like it. So I don't know if you can see, I tried to kind of make sure you can see the whole dress. It is more of a longer line, so it's just hitting knee length for me, and I love that. I think that it's very, very flattering. Now, it has almost like a pencil skirt kind of um, fit, but there is a little bit of extra material, and I'm wearing mine in a size large, and I think that is the perfect fit. I feel very comfortable, yet still kind of that figure hugging is happening, which is, again, what I was looking for with that rib dress, but this one just does it in the right way. So it has a tie belt detail, which you can do either in the front or you can tie it in the back. And oh, I just think it's stunning. Again, a tie belt, it just really does wonders for making sure your figure is still shown off and isn't kind of like lost in a dress where it could get lost. So I think this really, this might be my favorite. It's so, so fun. Okay, so another fun thing about Old Navy I find are the pajamas. And they are always like holiday themed or just really great depending on what time of year you go. They can be like Halloween themed were just like a big thing. They had a ton of Halloween pajamas. And then I know for the holidays they're gonna have so many fun holiday pajamas. And I thought these ones were definitely kind of along that line and that kind of um, plaid color. And I found these ones in the green and blue check and I think that they are so beautiful. I had to pick them up. I just think that it's always nice to have cozy pajamas, ones that you feel comfortable in and I only like that flannel style pajama and they are long so on me they're coming nice and long. They're not super high waisted but you can tie them at the waist and make them a little bit tighter. I got mine in a size large and they fit great. They are nice and cozy, they're not too form fitting. That's the last thing I want in pajamas is to feel constricted and these ones do not at all make me feel like that. They're very, very cozy. They're so fun, they're so festive, super cute and yeah, don't sleep on old navy's PJs. Before I share the final outfit, I forgot I actually had this as well. This is this gorgeous flannel. Again, I think it's like that buffalo plaid style and I really love this. This is like a button up style shirt and I just paired it with these blue jeans which I will show you in the final outfit a little bit more. I just wanted to show you this shirt and I love it. I actually picked this up in a size extra large just to get that extra oversized feel i really wanted this to be cozy and you know i don't know super warm and i love this i think you could also wear this with like a top and then tie it around the waist for like a 90s look but with this one i just actually tucked it into the jeans with like a half tuck i think that it works really well and i love the color of it it's in this gorgeous red color but what I like also is that it is super soft. Sometimes with these types of shirts, I can find them to be a little bit stiff, a little bit scratchy, and this one is none of the above. It is very comfortable, and oh, I just love the look of this. Usually, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really a red person. I don't love a lot of red in my wardrobe, not really me, uh, but this one I definitely would make an exception for because I think it's so gorgeous. Gives me sort of like lumberjack feel, obviously. Actually, I wonder if the vest would look good with this or if it would be a little bit too oversized for a vest. I think I'm gonna still gonna try it. Okay, so here is the vest over top and I actually love it. I think that it, again, adds to the lumberjack kind of feel. Log cabin, you know, you're kind of cozy by a fire. You're chopping wood, you know, I'm setting the scene for you. That's definitely what this is about. But I really think the star of the show is this jacket jacket shirt it's definitely just a shirt but it's really cozy and oh so fun for this time of year now for real let's move on to the final outfit okay so for my final outfit i thought this was a very cozy like casual option and i really like the way that this one came together i'm wearing this like sort of i don't know like graphic sweatshirt um which says more love and love that whole vibe. I think that it's nice and supportive and positive and just like a really nice message to have on a sweater. And this one is in this kind of like, I don't know if it's like a heathered gray kind of look. And then the messaging is in this white, like 
it's like that towel kind of um, feel and it says more love which is just so cute and I'm wearing this one in a size medium I really like the way that it fits it's not oversized it's not super snug it's just kind of like the perfect fit which is really nice and I paired this with a pair of the high-rise rockstar skinnies and I wanted to make sure I had one high-rise and I actually love these. These ones are in a size 10 and they fit really well. So they're in this beautiful midnight blue color and I absolutely love that color. I think that it's stunning. And the only other thing is maybe I would want a long. And the rise is coming up to my belly button. And again, I might even like it if they came up a little bit higher. And maybe actually a long would do that. If I got a long, it probably would extend the midsection a little bit. And then they also say that they have these secret slim pockets. So they, I guess, add in a little extra um, support in the pockets and you know what i almost get what they're saying like they kind of feel a little bit conforming which sometimes pockets don't always feel like that so i do understand what they're trying to say with the slimming pocket effect and i think i like that i like that they do that um, but yeah just a fun casual option for your last outfit so that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. But as always, I am so curious with these videos, which was your favorite outfit? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys and hear what your picks are. And also, if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out me and it helps out my channel. And of course, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you've been watching my videos and you haven't hit the red subscribe button already, Already, please do so I would love to have you here for future videos and if you're new I would love for you to join my little community and of course guys you can find me over on Instagram I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there that's always linked in the description box down below I will try and link all of the items from today's video as well down below for you guys and yeah and then also don't forget to check out Rose Forever New York and take a look at their super cute little bouquets that last for a year, which I love. So that's gonna do it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching and thanks again for being here. I hope you're having the best day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.